I do want to talk about something that voters are looking forward to in the near future, and that is the first presidential debate. I want to read some of the rules and get your thoughts on them. It's in June. It's a little earlier this year, June 27th, so one week from today. It's at 9 p.m. It'll be 90 minutes long, two commercial breaks with no studio audience. Both Trump and Biden will be standing. Their mics will be muted except when it's their turn to speak, and they don't get any notes or props. Instead, a pen, a notepad, and then a bottle of water. What are your thoughts on the rules here and the debate switch up? Yeah, I, look, I've seen a lot of speculation as, oh, this this you know rule is going to favor Trump and this rule is going to favor Biden. Um, I'm not sure any of that stuff is going to matter at the end. I mean, this is but this is going to be a very high stakes moment in the campaign. There's no question about it. And, and you know, I know they scheduled two debates. There's another one scheduled for September 10th. But I honestly think the second one may not happen, uh, depending on, on what goes down in Atlanta on Thursday. Um, look, Biden, the expectations for Biden are exceedingly low. And so for that reason, uh, you know, I think he probably has a good chance of meeting or exceeding them. Um, and, you know, Donald Trump, he, he's right now, I think he's ahead in this race. And the question that a lot of his supporters, I see them asking is, why did he agree to do this? Why did he agree to, uh, you know, A, debate Joe Biden and B, do it in a format where he's submitting himself to, the, you know, the, the fake news media and the media that he can't stand getting, you know, quizzed by Jake Tapper and Dana Bash of CNN. So um, we'll see what happens in this debate. But I do think it is going to be uh, you know, one of the one of the bigger moments, whether it fundamentally shifts the way this race is being viewed by the public is it remains to be seen. Do you think this could be a state of the union moment where the stakes were low for Biden? Essentially, it was get out there and say a speech. And then he did that pass with flying colors and that gave him a boost in the polls. Do you think we could see that a post debate surge for Biden? Sure. I mean, the problem for Joe Biden uh, with that is that it's short lived. I mean, his his State of the Union, he did get a bump. And then, you know, we see a couple of videos of him that he looks frail, he looks, you know, lost or whatever. And it sort of the, the questions come right back. And he's facing a lot of those questions now based on some of these videos that have been going around. So if he has a good debate next Thursday, will it put those questions to rest? For the time being, yes, until another video comes out until, you know, and then it'll start all back up again. Because the one thing that he really has no control over in this campaign is the question of age. And it's something that's only going to get worse, not going to get better. Um, and and that's what Democrats are really sort of grappling with as they look at at Joe Biden as their nominee is is. And, you know, some have speculated this debate is was being, uh, you know, happening this early because it'll be a test to see whether they want him to go the distance or not, or whether they try and orchestrate orchestrate some, you know, break glass in case of emergency kind of moment. Um, so I think it is a big it's a it's going to be a big night for him. But I'm not sure that even if he has a good night, that that's going to put all these questions to rest for the rest of the campaign. Do you think there's anything that Joe Biden could do to assuage voters of the age concern? Because I can remember. I wasn't alive then, but Ronald Reagan um, in a debate assuaging voters by saying, hey, I know that my opponent here is younger. And it was a really funny moment during the debate. Does Joe Biden have the opportunity to do that at all? I, I mean, could he use self-deprecating humor to try and disarm and, and deflect the issue? I guess he could. It's but but, uh, you know, I, a, I don't think he has Reagan's sort of skill um or charm in that regard um and and b i mean remember you know joe biden's what he's i think reagan left office when he was 76 or 77 joe biden's 81 uh right now and and so it's it's kind of a different there's there's it's not a complete apples to apples comparison um so i don't know exactly if that if that would be something that would work for him um but he he may in fact try it. I mean, that's he's he's done some of that stuff in the past, but it it hasn't really done much in terms of you know um, assuaging voter concerns.